Rain, rain, rain. Good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you're all well. So, I forgot what day it is. I've lost track of days. I'm going to have to check back on the videos. I think it's around day 16 or 17 now. Um, I've done the usual this morning. I've checked all my emails, hoping that I may have received some news from the emergency housing letter that I'm waiting for us to be bumped up to band one. Nothing uh, so far. I have, though, logged into my local housing association uh, website and I've bid on three properties uh, this morning in the local area. So, fingers crossed, um, you know, that's all we can do. Hope we hear something back from them. But I think this is the 11th property um, we've bid on now and we've heard nothing back so far. I have spoke to young Jago uh, this morning. If you haven't seen the community post, please go and have a look at that. So we've been on here now for around two and a half weeks. And for the last week, we've seen the young lad just wandering around campsite. Um, he's been polite enough to let on to us because we are pretty much um, situated near a gate where he has to walk past us uh, whenever he's leaving the site. So... We've let on to each other for the past few days, and yesterday I just caught with my just said, um, How long are you here for, pal? He says, uh, I'm here till Friday, um, and then I, I might move my tent over here. Proper nervous. <laughs> so I said, You're homeless, pal. He went, Yeah, yeah. Oh no, <laughs> never mind, mate, so are we. <laughs> We're all in the same boat. So it turns out the young lad did have a job. He lost that and couldn't afford to pay his rent. Um, his rent was £650 a month for a one bedroom apartment, um, obviously you can't pay that with no job and he wasn't eligible for benefits at the time so um, the only thing he could do was go and ask his um, nana and granddad for help. Um, turns out they're actually paying for him to stay on the site which is very very kind of him but he is camping in a 27 year old tent, um, I went over today just to have a look at it um, we did have some rain last night, some heavy rain, um, and apparently the tent is still dry, so he's pretty sheltered from um, where he is anyway. He's got a lot of um, tree canopy sticking over him, which is good. Um, it's not got the little lad down though. 21 year old, and this is how much full of pride uh, the lad is. When he did become homeless, he left his actual town because he didn't want anyone, including his friends or family, knowing. And he actually went down into Manchester city centre, um, and spent a few days there. The story he told us he actually um, he went into woods and he found a mattress base and he spent a couple of nights there with a the tarpaulin and just pulled it over him. Absolutely heartbreaking. 2024 and you're hearing stories like this. His council won't help him, he wasn't eligible for benefits and if it wasn't for his nana and granddad God knows what would have happened to him down there because Manchester City Centre, if you are familiar with the area, is not a place you want to be homeless. Good news though, he did go for a trial job yesterday at Chippy, um, up the road from here, and he's got the job. So he starts on Friday, so he's back on his feet. He's also might have another job um, at a pub um, just up the road, and above the pub they've got a spare room. So fingers crossed, um, if all goes well for him, he could have two jobs to make up his rent to pay for that room. And that would be absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Um, update on the caravan, ladies and gents. We were meant to be receiving the caravan today. Unfortunately, I got a text off Tony this morning to inform us. Um, his mate, his mate, whoever's bringing it, is not available until either Friday or Saturday. So we are waiting uh, to hear back from Tony regarding that. I have literally been waiting around camp all day for a phone call from Occupational Health, as I am not in work at the minute. Um, and I got an email telling me it was tomorrow. And it's always been tomorrow, but I thought it was today, so I've absolutely wasted loads of time this morning waiting about camp. Although I have done some camp admin tidying up, sweeping out, um, and I've had to give my head a shave because I haven't got enough air for a proper air cut, and um, this is much neater and more hygienic. So, plans for the rest of the day. It is currently 25 past four, and I need to go and pick uh, my beautiful missus up from work. And then on a Wednesday, it has been tradition for a long time, um, when we've had a home, that my father comes and has tea with us, or we go out for tea with him. Um, obviously, we can't have him back here because you have got to pay for visitors. Um, not that I mind paying for him at all, but there's nowhere for him to sit. Um, so we are going to take him out for a cheap tea tonight um, and just have a catch up because he really, really has helped us out um, during these times. So I'll report back. Um, 
maybe tonight. See you soon. Bye bye. Hi, darling. Hi, you okay? Yeah, you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right, so the old man's tired. So okay. we can't make it today. Um, new Brevoy, mm -hmm. new review item. Come to the channel, All right? Um, I'm as one about some tea ourselves already. Well, your hair looks better. Aiden's also on, are you? Aiden is also at the gym. Yeah. Well, bid on free properties today. <gasps> Shuggy, it was Wednesday, wasn't it? You didn't send me the link. I've done it. What have you bid on? Anything that was a. One bed. Yeah, all one bed. Um, that one in Hyde where that guy got stabbed to death. Great. That's still there. <laughs> so I bid on that. Yeah. I like um, haunted accommodation anyway. <laughs> oh, what the hell's going on here? Um, yeah, there was one in Ducking Field and one a bit further out. Um, oh, Mosley. One was in Mosley. Oh, right, okay. So, you've been managing with buses so far, right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, but nothing else. Nothing from housing or anything. So we're on band one now? No. No? I think tomorrow I'll have to bring them and check. It said ten days and we was eight days into it, weren't we? Yeah. Ten working days. 